What is up YouTube and welcome back to another episode of Oxygen Not Included. Just coming at the time of me setting up and finalising the automation for the coal there you can see. So we have smart bins in there though, FYI they don't work as I thought they did. Um, so using just a normal storage vessel would be a better option. The idea is though that the, the belt loader that's in the base, so no requirements to wear an Atmo suit, is where the coal goes that then gets sent over into that room the room then has a sweeper per line or per level of what do you call them Dubri firkins the uh, yeah the, the, the coal the coal then is put into the generators when it needs it else in the storage container and that way it just keeps it going and it saves us from doing any jobs now I have done a bit of automation over here with an AND gate but the AND gate is total cabbage it's not needed. All I need is a pressure gauge, not a uh, gas, uh, well, gas type gauge or uh, the AND gate. So we can quickly just rip those out because as long as there is, uh, I'm going to go for about four or five kilos of carbon dioxide in the bottom level, the hydrogen should then stay out of the way to allow the top level to consistently grow without too many issues. With the farms now up and running, both of them, the one below for the glossy drinkers as well. Remember, this is two farms with an open door in between. I'm just going to push some more gas in here. Not five grams. I need it to be 5,000 grams. I want five kilos. That should push then that hydrogen a bit higher up, which means that top layer of meal wood can grow also. The reason it's showing that it's not growing is because, of course, it's touching the hydrogen, and that is no bueno. I am going to squeeze in as many as I can. On that left-hand side, there is two tiles I can put more of them in two. I'm also going to extend my cooling loop to make sure it covers that top row of crops because they will also get too warm. Now it needs to go over the crops, not the base tiles. If you're using water cooling or a liquid cooling, the base tiles is fine because it's significantly stronger. Gas though doesn't work as well, so I would suggest if you're using gas like I am, you can of course just just go over the crop itself or at least the, one of the two tiles that the crop is going to grow into the reason I'm using gas and not liquid is it's just cleaner in terms of issues if it gets too hot or too cold it won't burst a pipe and make a mess it will just continue it's just easier it's not as good not as efficient and certainly not as fast but it's easier so zooming in and out and taking a look at what our civilization looks like, that left hand side setup needs to be dropped a couple of blocks, probably four or five looking at it. It should be in line with the Atmo suits, uh, so I may get around to doing, oh, well I will do that definitely. Um, and we need to make more space as well for more of the geysers. I need a space for the volcanoes, the metal volcanoes. I also need a space for the reservoir, reservoirs, the oil reservoirs, so I can cap those and get the oil out of them. Now I may just, it's normally I would put the oil refinery, uh, sorry, the oil wells on them and then pump it in, but that usually gives you quite hot oil. So I'm going to try this time, similar to what I've already got there, which is oil stored, is just pump them out and into an area and then let the heat dissipate that way what I'm finding is when you turn that into petroleum the petroleum should be much cooler which I know the physics don't make sense on that but it works in the game uh, it then means that the plastic comes out at around 50 to 60 degrees instead of 80 to 90 degrees which again is a bonus removing the heat is the biggest goal that we've got in this lab process and I'm very confident now that this map's much bigger than normal because there's just liquid and stuff still to collect everywhere. Bottom left, clean water. Bottom right, middle-ish, you've got that salt water. And then on the top right, you've got a lot of polluted water. Along with the geysers that are chucking out free water all the time, I'm still not harnessed because we haven't needed it yet. But I will be. All of this will be collected and stored and used. Every single drop. And if there's more on other planets, or the second asteroid for sure, I would bring in that back too. You can see that that pump is bringing up clean water and oil. The clean water, of course, will go into the storage. 
and the oil will go into that oil tank. Now we're getting into the next stage of that. So right below here, I am going to build two or three, I think three, yes, three oil refineries. It needs a four gap, not a three gap for those generators. Surrounding most things with the generators now to keep everything nice and cool, but also free energy. Why not? There's got to be a way of me figuring out how much energy I'm gaining now. I'll probably look at how many of those generators I've got and do a bit of math. Won't be up screen on this episode, but likely it will be on the next one. Shut one of those in between, and then this will just... The oil needs to drop straight down into those. Annoyingly, you still need to use a pump. Can't gravity feed. That whole area there that you can see where I want to extend the other uh, tank, the geyser tank, needs to be severely altered. But that's going to require a lot of ladders and scaffolding. It's going to take them a while to get to this because, as I say, the Atmo suits does slow things down. It also slows down their movement speed quite dramatically, which is where, at the size of the base that it is at, as soon as the symmetry is made... I will then start looking at doing the transport pipes. So move forward a little bit here. We've now got the well, most of this built, as you can see. Oil refineries. And below that then is the polymer presses, which the oil refineries turn your oil into petroleum. The petroleum goes into the polymer press and is turned into... Well, steam and plastic. The rooms are going to be cold, though, so you won't see any steam. The steam will immediately be turned into water by the the thermostat generator. So we're actually turning oil into water and plastic, which is another bonus, right? And energy, because this heat generated. Now, very quickly, I'm just going to chuck in a hydro sensor in all of these chambers so that the pumps are only turned on when there's actually liquid there and we're not wasting electricity. The polluted water one there on the far right you can see is balked because there is no liquid in there. I'm not sure if it is draining while it's got that error up, but nevertheless it's common sense, commonplace, that you don't run liquid pumps dry. That breaks them. It doesn't in the game, but it, it yeah, we, we're going to do that because... We're an intelligent bunch of people, right? We don't want to waste energy or damage pumps. Now, this top level is a bit tall, so I'm going to have to chuck in a bit of ladder in there and scaffolding and, and maybe a door. Because not only is the piping to do, this power cables to do as well. All of these things require power. Although they are showing us being powered up, that is only the thermostatic generators getting the heat out of the room, as you can see. Immediately, it gets cold and then they stop. So, that's better. I have uh, put the tiles in on that top again, but I really need to get around to doing that to get these powered up. So, three oil refineries, three polymer pressers. We'll see how that goes in terms of plastic. We are making it from the Drecos anyway. But, of course, at this stage where a lot of things require plastic to build, it soon dissipates. Also, the ladders need upgrading to plastic ladders, which will eat it because that's five per ladder. And we've got many hundreds of ladders. And the... Or what they're called. The, the Dubri Firkins. I'm using that word a lot today. Yeah, the pipes. The transport pipes, tubes. They also require five per plastic wise. So, to set up an infrastructure of plastic ladders and pipes, tubes, we need a lot more plastic than the Drecos can possibly contend with. Unless we had hundreds of them, which, quite frankly, would be a very difficult to ranch. Although we are ranching quite a lot, or aiming to ranch a lot. Hundreds and hundreds would be what we needed, and I think that's not quite possible. Just resetting up one of these rooms that was originally a farm that we turned into a cooling room and then left it. Now it's going to be a room for the plug slugs. It's perfect, actually, because it's already full of hydrogen, and the plug slugs do indeed eat the hydrogen. So that's useful. It was an accident, but a happy accident nevertheless. So we got two of the eggs from the printer. To start us off, all I've done then is put down the machine to feed them because they eat ore. As well as, so I think actually no, they don't eat the hydrogen. They, they eat ore and off and they excrete hydrogen, which is basically another hydrogen farm. 
So we've got a feeder there and the groomer to groom them and keep them happy. Drop off to drop them off. And that's everything really for for the plug stuff that we need. There's obviously a cable going along the ceiling, one, uh, sorry, two blocks down that they will use when they're adults to give us free energy. Just jump past all these blueprints. Okay, so let's get into some plastic tubing. Now we have some, well, plenty of plastic to try and use. Nine tons of plastic seems legit. I'm not an expert on using these plastic transport tubes. I've never had to use them before, but we are going to try now. Now, as a spoiler alert, this will be ripped out and a mod will be brought in to make them more forgiving. You need quite a large area to do U-turns and drop duplicates off using these. Also, you can't go through or over ladders, which makes it really complicated for the setup I've done where I've got a ladder and a pole. And I'm not happy about that. Moving forward on the next series, then yes, I'll, I'll note that. But for this one, it's built specifically that we... I want the, the teleport, the, the, the tubes to be behind or in front of whatever. The ladders. So that they have the option for both. Going through floors, you need to use the actual... Yep, that machine. But then you can't do a straight 90 degree there, which is why that wasn't working. So there is a lot of problems with the vanilla, va vanilla ones with our base, currently how it's set up. But let's not dwell on that too much. So the idea is they come through with their Atmos suits. They then got this machine that allows them to go into the system and get sucked up. And what I've tried to do is put one down near the bottom of the base, one over to the left hand side of the base, and it should be quicker. What I'm noticing is they're not using it as much as I'd expect them to. You can turn its priority up. There he goes. So he did use that to get over there to the left. That's useful. And it uses a little bit of energy electricity each time. Each charge, as they call it. Um, but yeah, it, it's a bit messy. Because you can see he's now building that. But that's not connected. Because you can't do a 90 degree turn in the tiles like that. So you're going to have to pull it out and round. And use two tiles to do a corner. Which is no bueno. And here he's stuck because they can't, even though that's a pass through, you can't put a ladder over it. So it's a bit pants for the way I want to use it. And there you can't do a 90 degree turn either. You would have to wrap round and come in using four tiles to do a corner, not the two. There was a lot of science done with the pipes, but please do ignore them for now. I'm going to. Basically jump over to where I use the modded ones because these ones are not working as I said for our setup and I'm not going to waste 20 minutes showing you how I didn't do it. What I'm going to show you is this is now up and running fully so you can see the oil comes down into the refineries, the refineries then push out the petroleum, the petroleum goes into the polymer presses, the polymer presses pump. <laughs> I don't know how, how that works precisely in terms of, of, of the game. But yeah, the polymer presses then pump out the plastic in little, in, in little globules. Also pushing out steam, which as you can see is immediately turned into water because the rooms are forced to 10 degrees for on the uh, thermostatic generators. And then there will, that one on the left there that's red is about to finish its first little cube, there we go, of plastic. And there it goes, it drops it on the floor. Now they will be collected by the the duplicates, but I am going to of course automate that. that, that I'm not having people going and fetching that. Just needs to get a sweeper fitted in there somehow. Though I have left the room a bit too small for a sweeper as it currently stands. But I can fix that with uh, an upgraded sweeper that could either go through the wall or just extend the room either or this is working now so what i need to do the polymer presses are struggling because they're not having their carbon dioxide that they're creating taken away fast enough so i just need to fix the the, the pipe in there also didn't know the uh, refineries give out refined carbon which is magnificent as a resource it means i don't have to waste coal making refined carbon for my steel so oil press, uh, oil refineries give you your refined carbon to make your steel, which is wonderful. I will get that water cleaned up at some point, but it's really not enough water to worry about. You're talking a couple of liters, 
and unless it's hundreds, well, unless it's thousands of litres, I am not going to put a pump in place. I have managed to chuck in a sweeper in the refinery room, though, to make sure that that carbon is collected and sent into the base. So that's automated. We just need to sort out the plastic side now. Actually, never, never mind. That's the upgraded one. So it's actually reaching the plastic through the wall below. So you can see all of the plastic and the refined carbon is now being sweeped up by that one at the very top into the loader, and then that's getting sent into the base. Again, remember to ignore all the plastic piping. You can see probably what I was trying to do, but it, it, it doesn't work. It, it doesn't work like I want it to, so I am going to rip this all out and try again. In the meantime, while we're figuring it out, we're creating more and more plastic. And that whole canister storage of oil we've got will be turned into plastic. There is still a little bit more down here, but not to worry because we have the this lot to get to. And as you can see, this is my next plan. I want to rip out this entire side biome. We have access using the pipes. These pipes are hopefully working as intended. Um, but if not, it's fine. They're all coming this way, which, as you can see straight away, is, is something's gone wrong. So they can get down here. Now, I didn't want them to be able to get from left to right. I wanted an obvious boundary line here. And I'm going to build that now, as you see. Um, this will stop them from screwing up the Atmo suits because there's not the storage on each side to support both sides' variants of. The piping we have is still the old one. We haven't upgraded to the mod yet, but I'm obviously not going to cut this out because it is my next plan. Now, there's a lot of digging to do. There's a lot of ladders, scaffolding to build in order to make sure that they can get all of that digging done. But with an army of, like, what is it? Yeah, 20 duplicates now. We shouldn't have too many issues there. The tools they have, they're upgraded. Most of them have had the digging upgraded as well because the morale is so high they can would take it even in their uh, professions that they are in, which are the priority. But we are... I'm not going to do a time lapse on this one because actually it doesn't work as well as I wanted it to because they keep coming from the opposite side. So what we're going to do is we're going to refresh, reset. I'm going to make sure that the tubes, uh, the, the mod upgrade and get that working better. And then we're going to try this again when we actually have a working system. Also, the, the, the barrier you just saw me build, I'm going to make sure I build a full one so that the left and right side are totally separated and you have to pick left or right in the Atmos suits. That way my Atmos suits should stay relatively stable. Okay, so welcome back. You can see the pipes have gone and a bit of an addition over here. I got a bit sidetracked while I was checking and making sure that the new mod was working. We actually had a volcano, an iron volcano, that was hidden underwater down below. So I've moved that and this is where the liquid volcanoes are going to go. It was just here. And you can see I ripped out that little bit when I put in the wall that you can now see over there to the right as well that's blocking. The left and the right are now very, very much separated. I haven't got the gold volcanoes out yet because I hadn't got around to it. But of course, we do have the Move It mod so we can move them where we need to, as we need to. Top of the base there is lined up and the power stations that use natural gas has been ripped out because it wasn't doing what I wanted it to do. There wasn't enough natural gas for it to count and I wanted that line, as you can see along the top, finished. So we now have a symmetrical base, or at least the top is looking good and I know exactly now what lines to follow to do the various different things. Couple of toilets there you'll note above the Dreco farm. They can be used while they have their Atmos suits on. That is a much better option than them having to try and get all the way back to go to the toilet. So make sure you put satellite toilets about. Not showers or anything. I'm only using toilets. I'm not bothering with the sinks either. Just the toilets. So that when they get the toilet uh, bathroom break option, if they need it, they can get there without having to go across the entire base. So we've got now, and as you can see, they're on the ladders, which does work, which is fabulous. There's just a bit of a an issue here, and you need, you need to have it two off the floor in order for them to get dropped off. Now, dropping the duplicates off is fine. You just make the pipe go to a, a floor and make sure there's two gaps below it. 
and they'll drop out there and that's fine. They can't be picked up there, of course, so. So all of these can get in this pipe now and get over to the new digging area that will be, that I showed you in the, uh, just not long ago. But they won't be able to get back as quick. They'd have to use the ladders. So what I'm going to do is here, throw in a, another one, and this will allow them to get back as well. So the transport between putting the Ratmo suit on and at the working area will now be very quick using the transport tubes. The fact that they're on the ladders, uh, you can use them on the ladders now as well, means that it's as I expected it to be. This game is 2D, but I don't see an issue with the fact that realistically it can be behind or in front of, right? So that's what I'm going with. Uh, we'll say it's behind or in front. No, in front because you, you see the uh, the ladders are actually greyed out by the, the plastic pipe. So we'll say that the pipe is in front of the ladders. That's fine. So there you can see you can get in there to get back and that's the important factor because this is a long way all the way up to there and then it'll get them dropped off. Now I've put that pipe at the very top for them to get dropped off not realising they will actually and can actually be dropped off at the pickup machine as well so that's important. Now we've got an army of people going over there to the right and we know now if they're going over to the right they're going there for a purpose because you can't get to the other side it's all locked off. So effectively, I've got what I wanted, and we're really, really close now um, to having a finished thing where we can start ripping out the world, clearing out this asteroid, realizing what resources we do have, and then finding new asteroids to give us the stuff we don't have. Nice and simple. Making sure all of these are set to delivered because there is 12 Atmo suits in storage that got screwed up from the previous that I mentioned where they went down the wrong side or came back on the wrong side. We are at time now though, so I am going to end the episode here. So thank you very much for watching. If you like the video, please click like, any comments are welcome. As always, subscribe for more and see what happens, of course. Thank you very much. Take care. Goodbye.